I wouldn't be surprised if I said this in my review of Overkill's The Grinding Wheel, but it definitely deserves repeating. 2016 for hard rock, heavy metal music can fuck off and die. That was the single worst year for hard rock and heavy metal music ever. A lot of bands I like just released the worst albums of their career. So when I saw that for the first three months of this year, only two bands I like were releasing albums, I was actually pretty happy. I had become very burnt out and sick of bands I like releasing crappy or mediocre albums that I just don't want to listen to. And the two bands putting albums out that I like being Overkill, which I expected to be a solid thrash album. They actually exceeded my expectations on that one. That one was actually a pretty solid album. I probably like it more than I did when I reviewed it. And then Demon Hunter, who up until this point had never disappointed me. The previous seven albums I really like. And here in 2017, they released their eighth album, Outlive. Unfortunately, this album falls into that mediocre category. There are definitely some standout tracks, but for the most part, this album feels lazy. The songwriting just isn't there. Most of the songs on this album I have complaints about. A lot of it feels like wasted potential as well. A lot of these songs will have something good going for them, but then it'll be ruined by something. There are three tracks on here that have solid verses, going at a decent pace, and then the chorus will come in and just completely fuck everything up for some reason or another. Usually just it being too soft. At least one of the tracks, the melody itself is just terrible as well. There's another song that's experimental that had wasted potential because it doesn't really go anywhere. <sighs> Mediocrity, disappointment, and wasted potential. That's pretty much how I can sum up my feelings on this album. The album has more of a hard rock style. The main complaint I have seen about the previous album, Extremist, is that there were too many ballads. They correct that on this album. There's really not any ballads on here. Most of the songs tend to go into this more generic, radio-friendly, hard rock style with a Demon Hunter flair. And for a one-off release, I think it could work. I don't mind the style that they chose to go with on this album, although I can definitely see how that would turn some fans off. But as long as the album is good, then I could listen to it with this style. No problem. Most of the songs are kind of this mid to upper mid-tempo. They'll have kind of a heavy rock guitar riff going on throughout the verses. And there's a lot of clean vocals. There are only a few songs that actually have any harsh screams. And I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. I think the style of music that Demon Hunter or Killswitch Engage normally do can get a bit predictable when it's heavy verses, melodic chorus, repeat over and over again. So I can definitely appreciate wanting to change it up a little bit. And I'm fine with that. And I would certainly be fine with them trying something different on their next album as well. But I really am concerned that they're either going to release another album like this or get softer. And if they start doing that, I'm not really going to be interested. But the problem is this album just feels very lazy. Now, I'm not a songwriter, it's really hard for me to judge somebody who writes and plays music because it's something that I can't do. But as a listener, it feels lazy. The production is all right, I guess. I'm not an audiophile, so I can't really judge that too much. But most of the songs just don't connect with me. There's not that one kick-ass track on here that makes me just want to repeat it over and over again like the previous albums all had at least four or five songs I really liked. This album doesn't really have that. It has some pretty good songs that stand out more because there are a lot of generic and boring songs around them. But it's just such a disappointment. This album probably honestly shouldn't exist. And these songs just end up feeling like B-sides. Anyways, let's get into the tracks. The album opens with Trying Times. This is a synth-based intro track. It's got a lot of synthesizers. There's a drum beat, but I can't tell if that's a drum or a synthesized beat. I think it might be actually a synthesized beat. Some guitars kick in after a while, and I pretty much did not think I was going to like this track at first. 
I guess I can say I still don't really like the track now, but for different reasons. The production gives this song, it has a lot of melodic vocals as well, a lot of room to breathe, which is really cool. It's not overly compressed or anything like that. It sounds pretty cool. My problem with this song is I would like more. I feel like I want more from it. I would like them to have taken this idea and expanded on it and made about a five to five and a half minute song out of it. Probably put a heavier section in there, maybe in the guitar solo, maybe the last chorus or something like that. It would have definitely needed some change-ups. It couldn't be four or five minutes of just nothing but this. But I still think it could have worked. But I think this could have been a cool experimental track if they had really expanded on it. But just as an intro track, I don't know. It's I'm kind of indifferent to it. It leads into probably the fastest song on the album, Jesus Wept, which is also one of the heavier songs on the album. There are no clean vocals on this song. And normally, I don't care for songs like that. There are exceptions, and Demon Hunter has a few of those exceptions. And this song is one of those exceptions. I do quite enjoy this song. It's funny, this song feels like a complete song, and it's only about 20 or 30 seconds longer than Trying Times, which is more of an intro track. This song is pretty cool. It's got a nice, fast pace to it. The chorus is pretty catchy, even without it being melodic vocals. And it's just a very nice track. It's not one that I absolutely love, but I do really like it. And it's one of those songs that just stands out a lot more given what's around it. Cold Winter Sun is next. And as soon as the song starts, I got this been there, done that vibe. It's one of those heavier single tracks. It reminds me a lot of Artificial Light or I think the song was called... God Forsaken or Just Forsaken. I can't remember the name of that track. It basically feels like a weaker version of those two songs, both of which I quite enjoy. This isn't a terrible track. It's just one of those songs that they've done before. Even just the intro part to it just feels like I've heard it before. And at least those two previous songs I mentioned had really catchy, memorable choruses. The melodies in the chorus to this song just don't really sit too well with me. It's not a bad track and it has grown on me and even the chorus has grown on me, but it just doesn't work as well as it really should. I mean, if this was going to be a single, then I really should have brought in a more memorable chorus. And then we have Died in My Sleep. This is, without a doubt, my least favorite Demon Hunter song ever made. It's the first song to feature that hard rock style I was talking about before. The verses are kind of an upper mid-tempo with kind of a heavy rock guitar riff going on in it. There are some, a lot of melodic vocals. The verses themselves aren't too bad. What happens with this song, and I talked about this before already, the chorus comes in. And it's just the worst chorus, one of the worst choruses I've ever heard in my life. Does not fit the song at all. It's going along at a nice pace, nice upper mid-tempo pace. Got your heavy guitar riff going on. And all of a sudden it just stops. The song goes at a snail's pace, it's ultra soft, and you just have the vocals going, died in my sleep. It just does not work. It just completely ruins the flow of this song. I mean, with a solid chorus, this could be a decent track, but instead, it has probably Demon Hunter's worst chorus. And I honestly hate that chorus enough, so much that it made this song my least favorite Demon Hunter song. It's not actually that bad, but I just don't like it. It ends up being another one of those wasted potential songs, something that could have been decent, but the chorus just sucks so bad that it ruins the song. Half as Dead is next, and this is kind of a groovy hard rock track, I guess you could say, mid-tempo. It's not bad. It's got decent pacing to it. The vocals are kind of interesting sounding. It's all melodic vocals. I kind of like it, but there's something that just feels a little off with this song. Cold Blood is another mid-tempo song. This one is a little bit heavier. It's got screaming in the verses, actually, which is only the third song so far to do that. And the pacing is going pretty well, and then you hit the chorus, and again, it gets softer. There's no heaviness to it at all. It just feels very wimpy. The melody, at least, in the chorus for this song isn't bad. I think it could work. I just feel like the chorus just... Completely ruined the flow of this song as well. 
for the most part, I guess I could just say, see my opinion on Dying in My Sleep, except that the melody and lyrics for this course actually work okay. At least it's not just repeating the same thing over and over again. The pacing's a little better than Dying in My Sleep. Basically the same complaint, except it doesn't completely ruin the song. It just mostly ruins the song. I guess it's okay, but not something that I really like all that much. One Step Behind is next, and the intro for this sounds like it's going to be a ballad, but it's not. It ends up being another hard rock track. And basically, this song, I had the same complaint as I did Die to My Sleep and the last track. The verses are that hard rock style, and they're pretty good. But the song kind of gets a little slower, and then the chorus happens. The chorus pacing is actually not too bad. The melody I actually like in the vocals for the chorus. But there's just no heavy guitar riff going on in there to really fill out the chorus. And it just ends up, again, being very wimpy. Raining Down is next, and it's a little bit of a heavier rock song. Kind of mid-tempo again. Kind of a theme of this album. I don't know, the chorus doesn't really transition well. and Honestly, I can't really remember the song very well. The End is next, and... This is another Wasted Potential song. It's okay. The verses are actually pretty good, a little bit faster. It's still in that hard rock style. But they are way too short, especially the second verse, which is pretty much non-existent. The chorus is pretty decent, but it just overstays its welcome. There's a part where he says something like, you are the end. That's really where the chorus should have ended. Right there, where he says, you are the end. Okay. End the chorus there, go into the second verse. But he keeps going for a little bit. Which can work for the end of the song. A lot of songs they extend the chorus to. But I feel like that should have been shorter. And the verses should have been longer. There really needed to be more of that. I definitely noticed that in the second verse. Which only really had like one line. And then transitioned right back into the chorus. So it's like you didn't get a break from the chorus. Once you got the first chorus. It's about 10-15 seconds of verse. And then oh you're back to the chorus again. Then 10 seconds of an instrumental section and then you're back to the chorus it's just they cram that chorus down your throat not only is it overly long but they don't really do anything else in the song it just ruins a potentially good song one less is another heavier track kind of in the style of jesus wept i honestly don't like this one as much it's nothing but harsh vocals which can be fine if the song is good it just i don't know i can't really connect with the song very well it's not bad at least I don't really have anything I can bitch about, so that's always a good thing, but it just doesn't really work for me all that well. If Jesus Wept isn't my favorite song on the standard edition, then my favorite song would be Patience. This song starts off with a really cool piano intro. It made me actually want a piano-based ballad. I really liked the melodies in that piano part, and it would have been a really nice change. Most of these songs have been very samey with a couple of really heavy tracks and otherwise a bunch of just mid-tempo hard rock. So hearing that piano was a nice change of pace for my ears, just something different. And then it goes into this really fast-paced section as the rest of the band kicks in. Don't let that fool you, the song really isn't that fast, unfortunately. The verses are more mid-tempo, but they work well enough. And the chorus is really good. This ends up just being a really solid track. I like the melodies a lot, especially in the chorus. I also like some of the changes they do in this song, just to add some variety. Slight the Odds ends the standard edition. It starts off with some violins that move into a pretty standard rock track. It's a little bit faster pace, which I guess is a bit of a change, but it's more of just another hard rock song. It's not too bad, actually. It's not one that really stands out to me, like Jesus Wept or Patience, but it's not a bad song, and definitely a better way to end the album than a lot of the songs. And I like the outro, which again brings in the violins. It's pretty cool, but nothing special. And then you have two bonus tracks. A Fear I Used to Know, which is a pretty standard Demon Hunter song. Heavy verses, screaming, melodic chorus. Very catchy melody to the chorus. Why this song was left off the standard edition in place of, well, what died in my sleep, which is the worst Demon Hunter song ever written, I have no idea. 
It makes absolutely no sense. This song would be my favorite song on the album if it were on the standard edition. It's a very nice track. Demon Hunter fans should like it. It's in kind of more of an old style. And at the end of the day, it's just a really good track. Savage is the last of the two bonus tracks. Honestly, I'm pretty indifferent to this one. I can't really remember it even now. It's kind of a slower paced song, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I don't. I can definitely see why it's a bonus track. I think Die to My Sleep should have been a bonus track along with this song, and that could have ignored them both. I'd say those are my two least favorite songs on here, actually. So at the end of the day, we get more of a hard rock album from Demon Hunter, which, like I've said before, that style change doesn't have to be a bad thing, but with a lot of really weak tracks. It's not actually that bad. I've probably complained a little bit more than maybe I should. I mean, most of the songs are still okay. Even Dying of My Sleep, as much as I don't like it, I will admit it's not really that terrible of a song. I mean, if you put it on Dream Theater's Astonishing or Sonic Syndicate's Confessions, it's the best song on the album. So, I mean, it's really not that terrible, but it's just bad for Demon Hunter standards and, well, really for a lot of standards, just really not that good of a song. I just feel, I wanted more from this album. And it just feels lazy. It feels like they had some ideas and then just threw whatever they needed to around those ideas to fill out a song so that they could put out an album. I'm not actually accusing the band of doing that. Like I've said before, I don't write music for a living. I can't say what it takes to write a good song because I don't do it myself. But at least that's as a listener how it feels to me. And I'm just, for the first time, disappointed in this band. I like A Fear I Used to Know, Patience, and Jesus Wept a lot. Slight the Odds is okay. Half as Dead is decent. But I don't know. Other than that, I'm just not really a big fan of the songs on this album. It's just not really that good. And I expected a whole lot more from this band. I'm giving this a 5 out of 10. It's really not that good of an album, and they are capable of a lot better than this.